Hi, I've got a bunch of numbers to add up and I could use several different strategies for doing so. I could start with a running total of zero and then I could add on my seven to get seven and I could add on my eight to get 15 and then the six to get 21 and then the 10 to get 31, then the two would get, take me to 33 and the nine would get me to 42. Or, especially if I had a friend to help, I could chop the problem in half. I could add seven and eight to get 15 and the six to get 21. I could add the nine and the two to get 11 and the 10 and the 11 to get 21. And I could add the 21s together to get 42. Same answer. Fortunately for us, we're always going to get the same answer as long as the sequence of numbers that we're adding up is the same sequence. And that's because adding up makes the natural numbers a monoid with respect to zero and addition. So that means we know three important equations. We know that if we have zero on the left, that's the same as just x on its own. The same thing is true if we have uh, a zero on the right, it just disappears. And we also have that if we have a grouping of three things grouped to the left, we get the same answer as if we group them on the right. And that's what tells us that we can reshape the structure of the tree as long as we keep the sequence of numbers together, we'll always get the same answer. And it doesn't just work for zero and addition. It also works for one and multiplication. And it shows up all over the place with all sorts of sets and all sorts of operations.